Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's Gratitude Tuesday, and today we're focusing on random acts of kindness. There's all sorts of research uh, on the brain that shows what happens when either you are kind to someone or someone is kind to you. It's called moral elevation. And what happens when you're kind to someone is it's literally contagious. You know, what it feels like to you is this warm fuzzy that goes on inside your body, but it's actually your hormones, the live hormone, ox oxytocin acting in your body. And when you are randomly or purposefully kind to someone, what then happens is it automatically makes them want to be kind to someone else. It's like the best way to start a movement. It's literally contagious. So the word contagious has been used kind of negatively in the past three or four weeks. I don't know if you noticed this thing we got going on. And you can use the word contagious for a better for a better way, for a more positive way. So make kindness contagious. So decide for the rest of the day or at the beginning of your day if this really takes some reflection for you if you're like I don't know how to be kind, right? Or I'm too busy to be kind. I'm too busy to care what other people. I'm too busy to care about a kindness movement. Nobody is, right? It can be as simple as paying for someone else's coffee in line behind you. It can be as simple as saying, I'm going to make eye contact and smile and say hello to everyone in the hallway that I meet today. I'm going to give somebody a compliment. There's this one chick whose hair I love. I'm going to go tell her, right? I'm going to, I'm going to go tell her. Um, maybe your kindness is asking, are you healthy today? Do you feel well? Is your family well? Um, you know, good. I'm so glad. Stay healthy. Maybe pointing out that, hey guys, it's another day and none of us are sick, right? We're all still here. We're working together. Like that's being kind to someone else. It doesn't have to be like I'm making a thousand dollar donation to, you know, a church or whatever, which is also wonderful. But what really, really, really causes that moral elevation in yourself, that altruistic feeling, and then makes it contagious for everybody else can be the tiniest, smallest little things. I interviewed a behavioral health tech um, in Brighton, Michigan one time, and I asked him uh, how it made him feel when someone gave him an employee to employee recognition, like a shout out, when another employee gives you a shout out. But, you know, what do you do with it? I wanted to know, you know, how effective their program was. And he said, you know what I do? If someone gives me one, I give two. If someone gives me one, I give too, because I want to spread it. I want to spread the kindness that somebody showed to me to just say, hey, you did a good job today, right? Uh, one way that you can be mindful about your kindness is when you know you're going into a situation that's filled with negativity. And you know what? I hope not, but maybe work is like this right now for you. And if that's so, decide I'm going to have a different mindset today. I learned this from my friend Meg. She and I were traveling uh, from Austin, Texas together to go home last uh, last winter and she said Jane we're gonna be kind to everyone in the airport today right it's a lot of people traveling it's a, a, the skies are gonna be full and airports tend to be negative places they tend to be places where people are very stressed out and very negative and it's that loss of control right which is probably likely what you're feeling at work right now a loss of control so have the mindset i'm going to be kind to everybody today i'm going to tell them hello i'm going to say how are you i'm glad you're here today i'm so glad i get to work with you right grateful tuesday have a good day